morning, this is Jeremy Williams. <coughs> Pardon me, with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I'm here at 11345 Venice Boulevard in Venice, and I am preparing to perform a video examination of the main sewer line for Wayne Lee. The main sewer line is the portion of waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and it connects the building drainage system to the city sewer, which is typically found underneath the street. The building drainage system is the portion of waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. This examination does not focus on the building drainage system. The uh, main sewer line clean out and the access point of the system is here in the front kind of planter area near the main water line. The driveway is over there. The street's right out in front of us. We are near Venice, so it's going to be a bit noisy at times. I apologize for that. This first section of the pipe used to have been replaced with newer plastic. Looks like an ABS plastic. Plastic is one of the very best materials available for main sewer lines. For several reasons, smooth inner walls allows for maximum drainability. It's also a material that does not rust or corrode over time. It's not naturally decaying. Its flexibility makes one of the better fairing pipes under seismic activity and last, but certainly not least, when plastic is installed properly, roots should be unable to penetrate the joints of the piping. Right here we are uh, exiting the newer plastic and entering into what appears to be original vitrified clay. There are a couple of uh, trees in the front yard, or one in particular that has a rather aggressive root system. Vitrified clay is also a good material because like plastic, it does not rust or corrode. Where it differs quite a bit from plastic is that it is one of the more susceptible pipes to seismic damage. However, even more commonly an issue is clay is one of only a couple of materials that will actually allow for roots to intrude in through the joints of the piping, which we saw some there a moment ago. And here we are looking into the city sewer, so it's not a very long sewer line. We have a couple areas of uh, root intrusions. The roots need to be cleaned at this point. But this section of the clay appears to be doing just fine. I'm going to go ahead and locate where the city sewer connection is actually taking place. It almost feels like it's on the sidewalk, not under the street. Which would be a nice thing. This is the most aggressive roots in the, the system. These roots can be cleared using the conventional snaking method of sewer line cleaning. Again, given the roots we're seeing, I'm going to recommend that it be done now. It's important that the technician chosen to perform this service uh, uses the uh, full-size main sewer line cleaning blade to properly scrape the roots from the, roots from the inner wall of the pipe. After the initial cleaning, the line should be maintained on a regular basis of about once every year, 8 to 12 months. This regular maintenance significantly reduces the risk of roots causing a block, blockage in the line, but also, and very importantly, damage to the pipe. Both of these materials, the clay and plastic, have the potential to last almost indefinitely. The clay being quite reliant on proper and regular maintenance for that longevity, where plastic is much more forgiving. We do recommend that all main sewer lines be examined after any significant seismic activity, especially those containing clay piping. As well as every couple of years, as conditions in these systems can change with time. And that is going to conclude the video portion of this examination. This is Jeremy Williams with Sewer Line Chef Professionals. Thank you very much. And have a great day.